In this video I'll be showing you how to make classic French macarons by hand. Macarons are a meringue based cookie that's popular worldwide and can be adapted to a whole array of different flavours. If you'd like to see more cooking and baking then start right now by hitting the subscribe button and turning on the notification bell. Begin by mixing the ground almonds and icing sugar together. This can be done in a food processor for a smoother result and ideally you want to pass the mixture through a sieve for the smoothest possible result but unfortunately I didn't have one to hand on the day of shooting. Place 60 grams of egg whites into the almond mix and work into a paste. The other component is Italian meringue. Place the water and sugar into a pan before placing on the stove over a medium heat. While coming up to the bowl, get another 60 grams of egg whites into a bone dry bowl but do not start to whisk yet. This would be better suited on a stand mixer but I've done this with a handheld mixer to give greater clarity and to show that you can use alternative methods. When the sugar syrup has reached 115 degrees celsius, begin to whisk the whites. You want to ensure that the meringue is made in one long continuous process without stopping. Once the syrup has reached 118 degrees celsius, remove from the stove and gently drizzle the syrup into the egg whites, ensuring the syrup gets incorporated into the mix and continue to whisk until the meringue is cool enough that you can handle the bowl. At this stage you can add 2-3 to three teaspoons of colouring if you wish. Obviously for the lemon macarons I've added in some yellow food colouring before mixing again to combine smoothly. Scrape the Italian meringue into the almond mixture half at a time and mix well before transferring to a piping bag. If you'd like to see more cooking and baking then start right now by hitting the subscribe button and turning on the notification bell. You need your macaron biscuits to be as uniform as possible. A good hack here is to take a sheet of paper and equally draw around something that's roughly two and a half centimeters in size with even spacing, bearing in mind the mixture will spread slightly and you want to avoid the macarons touching. Cut a one centimeter opening in the piping bag and then pipe into two and a half centimeter discs and then leave to stand for approximately one hour. The macarons will develop a skin and should not be sticky to the touch after the time has elapsed. Clip the end of the piping bag to keep any unused mixture in there ready for the second batch. Bake at 160 degrees celsius for 12 minutes, the macarons should feel firm once they are baked fully. After baking, transfer to a cooling rack while still on the baking sheet. When cool, either peel or use a palette knife to release the macarons from the sheet. For the filling I'll be using lemon curd, the link is in the description or can be found by searching lemon curd on the channel. Take two macaron shells and ensure they are roughly the same size before placing a generous amount of lemon curd in the middle covering approximately 75% of the shell and then sandwich together. Repeat the process until all the shells are filled.
The unfilled shells will keep for a week in the refrigerator or up to a couple of months in the freezer if you wanted to prepare these now to get ahead for something such as Christmas. I hope you find this tutorial informative and if you have be sure to comment, like, share and to see more cooking and baking be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and why not check out one of the other recipes on screen now.